Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First of all, I would like to say Happy Eid and Eid Mubarak to all of my family in Extreme Trader and to all the Muslims in the world and I really hope at next Eid we will be able to, be, to visit our families and gather with them and really we are praying uh, that this COVID-19 uh, thing will be over. Um, Regarding the Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, I have to admit that the last week we did not do well. The market was really tough and we, are, we were facing some losses here and there. And somehow we were able to finish the week in either break even or minimum loss. As you can see, we only had one bad day, which was Monday actually, if I'm not mistaken, because Angela did not send the results of the week. However, looking at the signals from the premium group, we can see these are the signals results. As you can see, pound CHF hit 60 pips of profit, uh, pound USD hit the stop loss, and sadly, the pair just reversed from that point. Um, CHF GPY hit take profit 20 pips, then the next day, uh, pound and ZD had 35 pips of profit. So actually it was somehow acceptable. As I'm telling you guys, we can never have a profitable days every single week. That is simply not possible. We always should be prepared for such bad days. That is Forex. That is how it is. We cannot change it. And I'm really glad that either, uh, I mean, even though we have received uh, messages from members who were still able to make some good profits even though this week was not really good as you can see this guy here he sent us on may 23rd uh, three weeks in a row 400 usd per week in profit uh, just to be clear deposited a thousand dollars total net profit 1185 more than double in three weeks so thankfully yeah, some members are really glad and happy those who are using a proper money management those who are prepared for the losses are actually winning with our signals so i think we are still doing well however as i'm telling you guys forex is never guaranteed please don't put all your eggs in one basket and be prepared for the losses in in case they occur so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so going now to the weekly analysis, if you remember my friends, I have posted the weekly analysis last Saturday and sadly uh, the analysis did not work well. Therefore what I did was doing my best and posting the midweek analysis video just the day after. So I'm really doing my best here to help everyone, yet we are still receiving some bad comments. Some comments are just, you know, insulting or mocking the analysis and assuming that they were going wrong even though all of the analysis that I have sent on the midweek analysis video has actually went in a good profit for example the euro USD I mentioned in the weekly and in the midweek analysis video that we can start shorting the euro USD exactly at this level and this pair as you can see has went in more than 106 pips of profit yet some people said it was wrong analysis I, d I really don't understand that and actually all of the pairs has actually went in the direction maybe missed the entry point but however it was really good analysis as we can see pound usd has reversed just like 33 pips before the entry point but nevertheless it was a correct analysis uh, aud usd also reversed just 18 pips before entry point and is going right now in profit uh, usd cad has exactly hit the entry point look at that check it out the entry for the USD card was simply perfect, perfect. And the pair went in 133 pips of profit, hitting my take profit level. Checking the next pairs, EURUSD, USD GPY did not reach the entry point. USD CHF went only for a few pips against the direction. However, that was a fake breakout and the pair went again in profit uh, for almost 53 pips. And gold, however, the gold did not reverse exactly as I expected. It went up here to the next resistance right here and then reverse. So the analysis itself was really correct and accurate in my opinion. However, I really don't understand the reason some people still doing their best to show that the analysis was wrong even though it was really perfect. I'm sorry for the language. However, 
it just really pisses me off to see people who are not appreciating the effort that we are doing on this channel to help everyone for free of course to gain a lot of profits so anyway uh, I'm sorry for the long speech I didn't mean it let me just uh, continue now with the weekly analysis and show you what is my expectations on the market this coming week so uh, for the euro USD let me just delete the previous entry and what we are seeing right now is a triple top on the euro USD which means usually that the pair right now is gonna reverse and go down uh, the same analysis is still valid because as I mentioned uh, we can start shorting the euro USD right here from that point and I'm expecting the pair to continue falling uh, it is still valid so we can expect from the pair to continue actually falling down and let me show you where we can start again shorting the uh, euro USD for those who missed the entry I believe this is exactly where we can start shorting the reason is we are having key resistance number one key resistance number two and key resistance number three and not to mention we're having right here a bearish breakout candle from that support level which is exactly on the previous resistance level so we can expect from the euro USD to continue rising for almost 22 pips before we can start short it we, so we can sell the euro USD at the level 1.09032 and we can keep that running all the way until it hit that previous support level uh, and we can expect approximately 120 pips of profit even case the, the target was reached so take profit level at 1.08008 good number in my opinion the euro usd is actually gonna continue falling more down until it hit that previous support level as you can see my friends were having right here a trend line like that so we are now in a channel I'm expecting from the euro USD that it will eventually break out from the channel and gonna continue falling down to this support however that's gonna take few more weeks uh, we have to wait on the market and see what will gonna happen let me now move to the pound USD now of course this signal is not valid anymore since the pair has already reversed therefore let's see where we can start shorting the pound USD again if I'm not mistaken let me just show you exactly where we can start shorting the pound USD uh, let me just try my friends to find the best entry level so it will gonna reverse for another like 70 pips um, just want to be sure my friends I'm giving you the right entry should be right here actually yes like that perfect so actually what's happening right now is the uh, the pound USD is facing a strong support level as we can see right here however the pair is gonna still fall down and we should be prepared to count to continue shorting the pound USD so we can expect from the pound USD to make a pullback right after hitting this previous support level and if we zoom we can see this price action which is usually good for a bullish reversal not to mention also that we are having here a previous support level and most likely that support after this bullish breakout candle is gonna keep its position as a support so we can safely actually start shorting the pound USD right at this previous resistance level which was here also a strong resistance I believe the pair is gonna make the pull uh, the pullback and then it's gonna continue falling uh, let me just confirm it by using Fibonacci retracement just to be sure that we are selling at the right point I think that is definitely the good point to start shorting actually you can draw it right here from after the breakout exactly like that yes it is exactly what I am expecting for it to reverse and therefore we can look for shorting the pound USD uh, let me just uh, make it more like that yes perfect so we can expect for the pound USD to rise for another 64 pips before we can start shorting it I just want to be sure my friends of this signal uh, that I'm giving you the best signal possible let me just try to, let me just delete this one since we are looking for short let me try to draw a resistance trend line um, 
that perfect perfect okay that seems legit right now yes I think the pair is indeed gonna reverse and hit the take profit the sorry the entry point just to be sure I'm just really trying my best to give the most accurate entry point for you so you will not lose many pips guys before it finally be in profit so this is our entry point sell at 1.22888 and for the take profit level we can keep the trade running all the way until the candles hit this previous support level so we can expect approximately 140 pips of profit from selling the pound USD take profit is at 1.20870 Hopefully it's gonna work and we will make some good profit out of this signal. Let's right now check the AUD UST. Now for the AUD UST, if I'm not mistaken, the pair is actually reversing right now at this previous resistance. As we can see, this resistance has become now the new support. However, looking at the daily candles, um, we can see that the pair most likely is gonna continue the bearish uh, reversal. So I let me just drag down the um, entry point to make it like that at this resistance, and we we can expect the pair to rise for another 70 pips to hit our entry point. Let me just uh, drag this a little bit more like that. Okay, good. Check daily candles again. We are still on the resistance, and I believe the pair after reversing for almost 64 pips is gonna start the bearish reversal you know something i'm not satisfied with this let me just that is actually much better like that i don't think the AUD USD has finished its uh, the formation to start the bearish reversal i think it's gonna continue rising more up for almost 100 pips before it start the bearish momentum Therefore, it's going to take a while for the AUD USD signal to be valid or active. So we can start shorting the AUD USD at 0 0.66354. Please be patient. I really don't advise you to buy the pair at this moment because the general momentum is going to be the bearish and the pair is going to fall. However, we are just waiting for or to catch the pair at the best moment to start shorting exactly at that resistance that is gonna be very profitable signal in my opinion and we can make some good profit out of it and we can keep the trade running until the pair hit that support level so we can expect 238 pips of profit hopefully we'll get them all take profit at 0 0.63 sorry 639.68 so hopefully the signal is gonna be valid as well and we will make a decent profit out of it let's check right now the usd cad as i mentioned the usd cad signal has worked perfectly fine and those who have entered the signal have entertained approximately and 130 pips of profit so now what's gonna happen next in my opinion after this triple bottom like that the pair is gonna continue the rise and is gonna continue going all uh, gonna continue up all the way until it hit that resistance level right here so where is exactly can we start buying the usd cad that's a good question because right now the pair is ranging after hitting that previous support level uh, sorry after the break out from that resistance we can see that the pair has hit this previous resistance and right now it's in the pullback mode if I'm not mistaken, we can start buying the USD CAD again right at the support level, which was also the previous resistance. And then the pair gonna continue rising. That is exactly where we want to start buying the USD CAD. So USD CAD is good for the buy at the level 1.39706. And you can keep your trade running all the way until the pair hit that previous resistance level that's gonna deliver hopefully 165 pips of profit take profit is gonna be 1.4140 sorry 1.4102 so hopefully also the signal is gonna work well and we will make some good profit out of the signal 
for the USDGPY it did not reach the entry point and I think the USDGPY is gonna resume its bullish momentum looking at the left we can see this very strong uh, support and the pair has actually finally after the breakout from that support level has made a strong key resistance level and we can see the fake breakout from that resistance and then the pair immediately went right now right uh, down below the resistance and again the market tried again to break out of the resistance and failed one two three then finally the the pair was able to actually break out from that previous support level and therefore we can see that the level 107.331 is really strong and we can rely on it to start buying again the pair so that's gonna be let me just confirm how many pips is that so almost 26 pips uh, we can expect from the pair or the usdgpy to actually you know something i think it's gonna continue for, uh, rising right away however i cannot give that uh, such signal i cannot tell you to buy now i have to wait for the best entry and i believe it's gonna be at this level as i mentioned uh, just to make things more safe let me just rise this, this little bit more up uh, you know something? No, I don't like it. I want to make sure it is accurate as much as possible. <coughs> That's gonna be better. All right. So let me just tell you that we can start buying the USD GPY at 107.347, and then we can keep that red running all the way until it hit that previous resistance level exactly right here. So we can expect approximately 107 pips profit from this signal. Take profit is going to be 107.347. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I know. It's a mistake. I was looking at the entry. 108.432. Sorry. Let's check right now the USD CHF. Now for the USD CHF, uh, it is still ranging and I believe the pair after hitting that previous uh, after hitting that previous resistance level my god yes like that resistance level is gonna continue the pullback and then after hitting that support is gonna be still valid again for the buy so for the USCCHF signal, it's going to remain exactly the same. We have to wait for the pair to fall for almost, for exactly actually, 30 pips before we can start buying it again. And this time we can keep the trade running uh, until it hit that resistance level right here. So we can expect approximately 80 pips profit from this signal. So for the buy signal, it's going to remain the same. I'm just going to change the uh, take profit level to be 97609. That's your take profit for the uh, USTCHF and hopefully this signal is also gonna work very well. Now going to the gold. The gold actually uh, rising. However, we, we were trying to short it for this time and to be honestly speaking i think it's still valid for the short but in in general the gold is rising uh, let me just delete this uh, lines here so what we can see right now is that the gold has here the resistance line and as we can see one second my god uh, we have this resistance level right here that resistance has become the new support level so I believe the gold is going to continue falling to this previous support level. Then from that point, it's going to be good for the buy. However, that might be a lot of pips actually. Yeah, 150 pips. Therefore, um, I really don't advise you to short uh, the gold right now. Let's just wait for the best entry level. And let me just mark it for you. That's going to be a much better level to start buying the gold. Let me just go to the daily candles. Uh, the gold is really not easy to be analyzed right now because the gold, as I said, is ranging right now at that resistance level like that. And 
we need to see what will gonna happen actually guys give me a few moment I, uh, give me a moment please i want to analyze this uh, for some time i'll be back to you i will pause the video for now all right so after doing some analysis and reading some news uh, i believe that after this uh, the accusation which has happening between usa and china for the initial source uh, for the covid 19 virus i believe the gold is actually making some profits out of this and is getting benefits sorry not profits i meant benefits and it's gonna continue rising therefore uh, what we can look for this week is buying the gold therefore i would like to stick to my analysis which is the buy for the gold at this previous support level so we can start buy the gold at 17 sorry 1720.24 and just to be safe my friends i want to give you the short term signal to keep your trade running until the pair hit this previous resistance level so that is gonna be our take profit level take profit at 1738.42 now of course guys as you know uh, gold is subjective to the news and the events and whatever the leaders of the world will say in their statements so if anything happened if anything will change these signals i'm going to do exactly what i did the last week and i'm going to post another midweek analysis video very quickly as soon as possible in case all these signals has have went in the wrong direction i will do my best to help everyone everyone here and i would really appreciate uh, to hear your good reviews about these signals or your advices about them so in the end I hope that is uh, gonna be a very profitable week for everyone and again I wish I wish everyone a happy Eid and Eid Mubarak guys I really wish you guys to ha always be happy and uh, glad uh, and blessed uh, in these uh, blessed days so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching